Well, hello there! My name is Naya the Science Kid. I'm presenting our big stack of books. We're going to review one of them, but not all of them, because that would take too long. But let's keep on going so we can see what it's what book we're gonna read. Ready? Uh-huh. Come. Well, hello there! My name is Maya the Science Kid. I am presenting our crystals. We're gonna make some of it, but not all of it. Okay, to go along. But let's keep on going so we can see what it turns out like. As you can see, the stack grew larger by three more books. These two books, uh, this one and this one, I accidentally forgot to add to my stack of red books. Not red, but like red. And this, this middle one that, of the edition is Finding Juni Kim. It's, I read it recently. Like I just finished reading it yesterday, two days ago. And, but I think it would be more interesting to do something from later on in the stack because if I just keep doing like the top one that comes up because I'm probably going to add more books, that wouldn't be very interesting. So let's see. Oh, A Wolf Called Wander is like, it's very adventurous and like suspenseful because you don't know what's going to happen next but you want to know what's going to happen next. Uh, out of my mind is like very, it makes you feel what the, what the character is feeling, like very sympathetic. But I think we'll, let's do Fish in a Tree because it's similar to Out of My Mind. It's, it's a really good book. Fish in a Tree is about Allie, and she goes to school, but she really doesn't like school. Like, lots of people don't like school, but she, like, super doesn't like school because she has dyslexia, which makes it so she, it's difficult for her to read and difficult for her to write. So when she goes to school, she has to, like, do a bunch of stuff to cover that up so that no one knows that she can't read or write. But at some point in the school year, her teacher has to leave and she like really doesn't like her teacher. But then she gets a new one, which she doesn't usually like teachers in general. So that's not a plus. And, but she figures out that her teacher is like a really cool teacher. And her teacher can, is like, helps her with, learning to read and write and by the time she has a new teacher she also made two friends like around the same time and Albert and Keisha and they're like really friendly and they both get they all three of them get bullied like a lot by Shay who's in their class and Shay is like not very nice and they become friends which helps them like stay together and be with each other like not protect each other but stand up for each other and they when they by standing up for each other they can like have a better life so uh, Ali is happy that she made new friends and her new friends are happy and they can laugh a lot together and play a lot together and Ali and Keisha and Albert have so much fun that by the end of the school year school doesn't actually seem like a bad place for Ali anymore whereas at the start of the school year Ali was like she abhorred school. That means like really disliked school. And she would like anything to go home. By the time it's the end of the year, she is more excited to go to school because she has friends, a better teacher, she can read and write better. 
and she's just a happier person. And the author of Fish in a Tree is Linda Malay Hunt. She's written other novels like Fish in a Tree, like, like other this kind of novels. And I think that, again, like with Partly Cloudy, this is realistic fiction. And it might not have been based off of uh, her own life, but it could have been. Some of my others are fiction. Some of my other books in the stack are fiction, but a lot of them, like a lot of them, are realistic fiction because with fiction, you can like imagine your own stuff, but with realistic fiction, it's more on point and it's more adventurous in a way. It, I just, I just like it better. And Fish in a Tree is like a really good story of three friends and really Allie who makes it through school, the school year. And it's really frustrating for Allie and that makes it more suspenseful because you want to know what's gonna come and you want to know why. Like on a lot of things, you wanna know why. My, one of my favorite things, parts of the book is the hilarious scenes where people bully Ali and Keisha or Albert or vice versa, stand up for each other. And it just warms my heart that Ali has found people that are willing enough to do that. And that Keisha and Albert have found people that are willing enough to do that as well. One of my favorite scenes is, I'll read to you one of my favorite scenes. Okay, chapter 13, Trouble with Flowers. It's the night of the holiday concert when we sing about Santa and dreidels and Kwanzaa. The best part is getting a new dress. I stand in front of the mirror looking at my dress and my first shoes with a heel on them thinking about the shopping day I had with my mom, even when we went to A.C. Peterson's for lunch. I liked how she stayed with me in a booth instead of having to go wait with other people. I love to sing, but I don't like our music teacher, Miss Molden. Max calls her Minefield Molden because you can never tell when she'll blow up over something. Oliver calls her that too, but he acts it out by leaping into the air and yelling, Mold! Molden. Molden. As he yells, as he lands on the floor and rolls. He doesn't stop though. He goes from a roll right to his feet again, like a cat in, the car in a cartoon. Shay is making fun of Albert because his clothes don't fit. Albert, what's with the pants, Albert? She says. Did you get that outfit in third grade? Keisha whips around fast. Why do you always have to pull people down? This is one of the things I like about Keisha. She's like, she knows how to make a insult backfire. And Albert, the three of them together make a really good match and they can make like almost any insult backfire. Because some people deserve it, that's why, Shay answers. Deserve to be pulled down, really? Keisha asks. Albert straightens his tie, which is the only part of his outfit that fits. He's even wearing his sneakers with the backs cut down. You know, he says, logically, if a person was to pull another down, it would mean that he or she is already below that person. See, like, this is, Oliver uses logic to make stuff fit in a way that helps him. Because most of the times, he is right because it's not nice to pull people down. So, as a team, they're very good at standing up against bullies. 
and they are bullied a lot. I think that's something that Linda Malay Hunt might have had when she was a little girl growing up. That's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time for more book reviews or science videos. Do 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 Fish in tree, but fish in tree is about Allison.